A Youngstown woman is growling about a stray cat problem in her neighborhood because she believes it's getting worse. 27 First News reporter Kyle Alexander looked into the situation. Around Judson and Hilton Avenues in Youngstown, neighbors have seen lots of stray cats roaming the streets. I will say at least 30. Idella Soul started seeing stray cats near her house last winter. She says she tries to help the strays by feeding them, but she can't help them all. There's going to be eight, six to eight in a litter. There's two females in a male. And then their kids are going to multiply and multiply and multiply. Spaying and neutering cats can be quite expensive with a vet, but there are some local alternatives that are more cost effective. Animal charity in Youngstown has seen a lot of cats recently. They've received feral cats from hoarding situations and from the streets. Veterinarians there spay and neuter cats for a fraction of the price of a normal vet. Spaying and neutering is the only thing that's going to help these cat colonies to filter themselves out. TNR of Warren also helps with spaying and neutering cats. People bring them about 300 stray cats a month to be spayed and neutered. They provide people with traps to catch stray cats. We show you how to use them. Anybody can trap. Everybody says, oh, I can't possibly. I have 92-year-old women that trap. Both Jane and Corky believe it's on the community to help these cats get spayed and neutered. We expect the community to trap and transport uh, because we just don't have people that will do it for them. If you want to do anything, then obviously trap, neuter, and release them back into their colony. In Youngstown, Kyle Alexander, WKBN 27 First News.